Mamma Misa of Extraordinary Kids. Then, we'd like to introduce you to the ultra fabulous Tegan Sanyuk Elementary Students. Our school is nearby. Other schools we naturally get to study in a very productive learning environment. Also, our school has been awarded the most beautiful elementary school for two straight years thanks to the beautiful natural environment surrounding our school. Our school offers unique learning experience by studying inside this train. Or inside this plain replica where we learn about environment of this transportation first hand. A place that built our future and shape our dreams. Take on Sunmilk Elementary School. 오늘 어린이 여러분 슈퍼 퀴즈에 출연하게 되죠. 여러분 최선을 다해서 좋은 성적을 거두기를 바랍니다. 파이팅! 지하 요! and excited in the studio. Excited because, well, we like to start with no limits, our imaginations. We hear hints, we see words, we get points, and it's all dependent upon our imaginations. Can we quickly make the link? And a lot of people are excited also because very soon it's Thanksgiving in Korea, Chuseok. A lot of people are driving right now or already hitting their hometowns and enjoying this show in their hometowns. So, Hi and welcome, and happy early Juseok to you. It's officially coming up in a couple of days, but uh, these guys are thankful to be here and we're thankful to have you. Okay, so let's start our speedy 60 seconds right away. Now, all four teams have chosen categories randomly. I don't know what the category is. Let's find out. What is your category? Money. Money? Do you like money? Yes. Do mom and dad give you money like once a week or something? Yeah, a month. Once a month? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> how much money do they give you? Like $30. $30? That's more than my wife gives to me! <clears throat> okay, well anyway, enjoy this. Let's begin. Money! This is where you can keep or exchange money. Bank. A round type of money, 100 won, 500 won. Coin. There is a picture of this man on the 10,000 Korean won bill. Uh, the, uh, paper money. Men carry their money in this. Wallet. In Korea, children receive money on this. New Year's Day. Adults use this plastic card instead of money. Pa paper money. A strong metal box where you keep money or other valuable things. Piggy bank. The 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000 won bills. Sailor. Lots of children save their money in this. Piggy bank? Moms and dads earn money by working at a company. Credit card? There is a picture of this man on the 10,000 Korean won bill. King Song? Adults use King. this plastic card instead of money. Credit card? Okay. It is definitely King Sejong on the 10,000 won bill. Very famous man checking out the score. Did a pretty good job. It looks like they got a total of six points. Not bad. We'll have another team come on out. Money was an exciting category. Let's see what the next category is. Hi, what's your category? Our category is uh, white things. White things. Okay, so when you hear white things, what do you picture in your mind? 
A paper. Paper? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I don't know if that'll come out. We shall see. And let's begin. Koreans eat a bowl of this every day. Oh, uh, cotton candy. These white puffy things float in the sky. Cloud? These fall from the sky during the winter. Uh, snow? You use these to chew food. Okay. This white thing is very sweet and melts in your mouth. Milk. The bride wears this at her wedding. Wedding dress? A farm animal that is covered with thick curly white hair. Ship. The white liquid you get from cows. Milk. You write on this with a pencil. Paper. A white flower that has a nice smell. Really? Koreans eat a bowl of this every day. Rice. You use these to chew food. Tiff. This white thing is very sweet and melts Cotton in your candy. Mouth. Yeah! <laughs> Very good. There are some Koreans that have cotton candy every single day, but uh, the answer was rice, and they eventually got all those white things right. Ten points for you guys. Another team, come on out. They're warming up. They're getting better. Let's meet our next team. Hi, what's your category? Playgrounds. Playground? Do you like playing on the playground? Yes. What's your favorite thing to do there? Ride swings. Ride the swings. I like the seesaws. <laughs> okay, well, if you're ready, let's go to the playground. A long board that makes you go up and down. Swings? You can take a rest on this long chair. You can move forwards and backwards on this seat. Swing. This is installed to monitor the playground. You play with this round thing. Kids go down this for fun. Slide, slide. You spin around in this. Uh, Merry go round. A set of bars that children can climb on to play. Jungle gym. You ride this by pushing the pedals. Bicycle. You find a lot of these green stuff on the ground. Grass. A long board that makes you go up and down. Seesaw. You can take a rest on this long chair. Bench. This is installed to monitor the playground. You play Ball. with this round. Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I was a little worried. Obviously, they study very hard, and they might just need to spend a little more time in the playground, but they did get all of them. Ten. Perfect. Excellent. Let's have another team come out. One team to go. Let's see which category they randomly chose. Okay, what's your category? Good for the body. Good for the body. Okay, what do you do that's good for your body? Exercising. What kind? Badminton. Badminton, okay. Do you play with mom or dad or who do you play My with? My sister. Awesome. Okay, you ready? Then here we go. An exercise we do in the water, Pak Tehwan. Swimming. Snow White bit into this red round fruit. A game played to score goals by throwing a large ball through a net. Korean martial arts. Uh, taekwondo. A stretching exercise that originated in Yoga. India. Cucumbers, pumpkins, and carrots are types of these. Vegetables. Climbing mountains are good for your body. Hiking. You twirl this around your waist. A game played by kicking a ball around. Pak Chi Sung. Soccer. Lemons and tangerines have a lot of this. A game played to score goals by throwing a large ball Basketball. through a net. Snow White bit into this red round fruit. Apple. You twirl this around your waist. Vitamin. Lemons and tangerines Hello. have a lot of this. You twirl this around your waist. Hello. Oh, yeah. A little confusion at the end. It's hard to spin a vitamin around your waist. It's the hula hoop, and of course, the vitamin was the last one. They didn't get, but they did get nine. That's pretty good. Okay, let's move on.
you may not know this, but there's actually a think tank here at Adi Dog. We all got together and tried to think, what is the best name for this corner where the kids fill the board with words? And we came up with fill the board. Oh yes, it took days, weeks, and months, but we eventually did it. And we came up with rules. Things like, uh, well, you can't have the same word. We can only count one of those words. Or if you have a word like cat, we won't give you cats. Or if the letter is C, we won't give you uh, Kathy because it's a name. So we have different rules and the kids all know it. And of course, if they don't follow it, we don't give them a point for the word. <laughs> Very simple. Let's check it out. On this side, we have Apple. How many points did you guys have? Seven. Six. Six? Okay. And their opponents, the team is Lemon. How many points did you guys have? Ten. Perfect ten. Okay. They're lagging by four. But if they come up with a lot of good words and fill that board, well, who knows? Who's going to win? We shall see. And right now it's time to get a letter. There it is. It's a T. Come on, guys. Right, right, right. Very good, Apple. Keep on helping your teammates. All right, very good, Lemon. Go, go, go. Good words coming out here. Keep, keep on brainstorming. Okay, come on guys. Fill that board, not a lot of time left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay, put that left pen, put them down, put them down, put them down. Not that easy, but we shall see how many points they get and who comes out ahead. Terrible or terrific. Let's see how many T words the Apple team got. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I need a magnifying glass. No. Not too shabby. Okay, Lemon Team's turn with the T words. Oh, all right. No. A lot of great words in the first round, and the underdogs were kind of making a comeback. But a four-point gap, they made up only one point. Let's see if there's a gap with these next two teams. On this side is the Kiwi team. How many points did you have? Ten. Perfect score of ten. <laughs> and on this side, it's the orange team. How many points did you have? Nine. <gasps> a one-point difference. We shall see what happens after we get a letter. There it is! Come on, guys! Go! Okay, help your teammates out. Okay, write as much as you can. Write, 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 write! Okay, they're close together. Is that a strategy of Kiwis? Let's check out the other team, Orange. Keep on writing, guys. Keep on writing. Don't slow down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop, 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 stop. 
We love the enthusiasm. Okay, a lot of uh, great G words. Time to mark the board. Okay, let's see how many great words Kiwi got with a letter G. All right, let's find the, uh, where the words are from. Oh, here they are in the corner, hiding away. Uh, nope. Okay, not too bad. Now it's Orange's turn. <laughs> Trailing by one point, let's see. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. And two, and two, and two, and two, and two, Dear God, please remember our dear friends and help them do their best on Super Kids. Hey, you chan don't worry about the thing. These kids were born to be Super Kids. Our school puts a lot of focus on English education. So we learn English with American textbooks and study just like the American kids. Knowing how to speak Chinese is also becoming important in today's world. See how fluent our students are? Impressive, isn't it? Our school even let us go abroad to improve our language skills by transferring us to our sister schools in China and Australia. What a globalized school our school is. Is it all study and no play for Taegang Sanmik Elementary students? Not at all. We love to swim whenever we can. One of our most anticipated classes is the swim class, which is taught by a professional swimmer. Many of us practice hard, dreaming to become the next Park Taehwan. A global school, Taegang Sanmik Elementary. Super kids will be a piece of cake. Do your do best to the, the very end. You can do it! Do you like books? I hope you do. One of the most common answers we get here when we ask kids, so what do you do in your free time? Do you have any hobbies? Books. I like to read. I like to devour books. Go to libraries and read, 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 read. Well, this is your section. They were given a book in advance to read and they prepared and they read and they devoured and hopefully they know the facts. They know the answers to the questions we will ask. What is the book? Check it out. You all have heard of Don Quixote, the guy who loves adventure and justice, haven't you? In the book of Finding the Secrets in Don Quixote, something terrible is about to happen on World Book Day. The only way to save World Book Day is to find the secrets in the story of Don Quixote one by one. What does Don Quixote have to do with World Book Day? Let's find out right now! Hey, finding the secrets in Don Quixote? By the way, thank you, I say, um, for providing these great books. And there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, not just the story. So if you want, you should check it out. Now they checked it out and they hopefully have the answers to some great questions. Let's have two great contestants. Come on out! <laughs> All right, hi number one, did you like the book? Yes. Okay, and how about you number 11? Did you enjoy the book? Yes. 
Fantastic. Hopefully you'll like this question. Here it is. World Book Day, which was first organized by UNESCO in 1995, has the same date as Cervantes' death. Please tell us the month and day. Number 11? April 23. That's right! You're in! Congratulations! Very good job! <laughs> All right, number two and number 12. Got a little gentleman and a tall lady. Ready to do battle? Here is your question. Don Quixote rode a skinny old horse on his adventure. What was the name of his horse? Number 12. Rosnante. You got it and you're in. <laughs> two more? Come on out. Okay, you gentlemen, number three and number 13, if you're ready, we're ready. Here is the question we prepared. What was the name of the village that Don Quixote lived in? La Mancha. Very good. Very good. I don't know if any of you actually saw the musical, but there is a musical. I am my Don Quixote, the Lord of La Mancha. It's a great musical. Check it out. Great story, too. Two more. Come on out. <laughs> wow. We had two smaller gentlemen. Now we have two taller gentlemen. Four and 14. OK, guys, here's a question for you. What country was the setting of this book? Number four. Spain. That's correct. You're in. Good job. Woo. OK, thank you very much, Freck. Well matched. Five and 15. Here is your question. Who followed Don Quixote on his journey as his servant? Number five. Sancho. Yes! You're in. Very good. Cervantes. The Cervantes train. You're in. Congratulations. Woo! And we have two more contestants. Come on out. This is it. You guys are the last of our 10 to 20 part, number 10 and number 20. So let's see who is in and who is out. Here's the question. What kind of job did Perez have who lived in Don Quixote's village? Number 20. Uh, haircut? He ha no. Number 10. Farmer? That's not it either. Okay, now you can meet these people in a Catholic church. Number 20. Priest. You're in, good job, fantastic! Woo, we did it! Okay, from 20 to 10, that part is done. Well, there's another part that remains. That's the 10 to five part, and that's gonna happen very soon. As soon as they do a little shuffling, they gotta pick their opponents randomly Go ahead and do that. These guys are doing a great job so far, and it's time to shift gears. That's right, we went from 20 to 10, now it's time to go from 10 to five. Elimination. <laughs> Actually, it's my least favorite part, but it has to be done. We need to have a school champion. Before that, we need to have the high five. Now. Let's have two contestants. Come on out! <laughs> Hi, number 12, how are you? Doing okay? Yes. Okay, here is your question. At the Spain Square, you can find two stone sculptures next to the Don Quixote sculpture. Both are Don Quixote's true loves. One, the farm girl Aldonza Lorenzo. 
Number 19. Dulcinea. Very good, you're moving on. Dulcinea. Okay, our first spot is filled. Great job, number 19. It is Dulcinea, the other love of Don Quixote. Now, if the next two are ready, please come on out. Hi, number three. Did you ever go to Spain? Yes. Really? How was it? It was fun. Amazing, okay. How about you, 16? Did you visit Spain or another country before? Yes. Where did you go? I went to Guam and Fiji. Okay. Now, if you guys are ready, we're ready. So, here's your question. Don Quixote spent most of his time reading books if he wasn't out hunting. All the books he read were about blanks. Yes, number three. Night. Very good. You're moving on into that powerful possession. Woo! That is a job. Number seven, do you like books? Yes. You like reading? Yes. Do you like reading about a certain subject? It might not be knights, but it could be sports. It could be historical heroes. What do you like reading about? Um, I, I like everything. Everything, okay. How about you, number 11? Anything you like reading about, especially? Comics. Comics, okay. Very fun. Here's your question. This is a conversation between Don Quixote and Sancho as they were walking across a plain. Look there! There are 30 or more monstrous giants waiting for us. Let's attack them. Master, what we see there are not giants, but blanks. Their arms are the sails that are turned. Number 11. Windmills. Very good! <laughs> Congratulations! Excellent job. Now three of the five spots are filled. Two more to go. Let's have two more. Come on out. <laughs> Number eight, if you have to fight, do you talk to the person and make them calm down? Or do you run or do you fight? What do you do? A tough situation, tough question. Calm down. Okay, calm them down. Good strategy. You're gonna be a diplomat in the future. Okay, number 20. You look a little larger than number eight. You never pick on people, do you? You don't like to fight, do you? I never fight it. Never fight. I love you guys. Okay, hopefully you will love this question. Thinking that Don Quixote had gone crazy, his neighbors burned. Number 20. Night books. You got it. Books. Books about knights. Fantastic. Okay. Well, it looks like we have one more spot to fill. Two more, come on out. One final spot. Two competitors, number four and number five. Here's your question. When Don Quixote attacked a flock of sheep, thinking they were the army, the shepherds threw rocks at him. This is what happened next. Master? Yes, number four. The Don, the Don Quixote's key teeth were gone. That's not the answer. Number five, do you want to answer or listen to the rest of the hint? Listen to the hint. Listen to the hint. Okay, let's listen to the rest of the hint. Master, you have lost some teeth, but you are not seriously hurt. Sancho, every tooth is more valuable than a blank. Diamond. Diamond. You got it! Indeed! He waited to the end, and he got it. The man that likes to play piano. That's it. We have five gentlemen, I believe, in our five, our final five. Interesting. Now, for those of you who like to prepare in advance, it is I Seal providing us with another book for next week. The Secrets That Are About the Odyssey. 
That's right, the famous book, The Odyssey. You're gonna find out more about it next week if you wanna prepare. So let's move on with the high five, the gentlemen, into the next round! <laughs> Time to use our brains, our brain power time. Yes, indeed, we have the high five. Five gentlemen competing for the position of school champion. And that person will move forward and see if they become a super kid. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That person, of course, will have to have more points than every other person. They all begin with 100. And there are categories, 10, 20, 30 point questions, whatever. They add up to be, doesn't matter. You gotta have more than everybody else to move forward. If it's a tie, we have tie-breaking questions. So, don't worry about that. We've got plenty of questions. Let's meet our contestants, the high five. We're blessed with two Chung Yus today. Let's meet number three is Chong Hyun. How are you? Number five is Chang Jong Yu. Yes, indeed. In the middle is Chung So. That's number 11. Number 19 is Min Jae, and then another Chung Yu. Number 20 is Shin Jung Yu. Okay, guys, you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, they look ready. We've got a board full of great questions. Like I said, 10, 20, and 30 point questions. As you can imagine, the 30 point questions are more difficult than the 10 point questions. Let's check out the board. Yeah. Lots of good stuff, and don't forget, you have your chance, which you can use just once to double the value of the points, just once. Let's begin with the 10-point category, equal. Look at the relation between the following words, then figure out what word goes in the blank. JP is to Japan as CN is to... Number 19, Min -jae. Your answer is? Sorry, number five. Canada. No, Jung Yu. Number 20. Carolina. One more time, please say Carolina. it. Carolina. No, that's not it. Number 11. China. You got it. That's right. Very good, think so. That's China. C-A-N is Canada, C-N is China. And you get 10 points for that. Tell us, Chung So, what do you like to do? I like to read books. You like to read books. So in the week, would you say you read 20 books or five books? How many books do you normally read per week? Seven books. About seven books? Yes. Okay, very good. Well-read guy. So please choose another category. Patterns. Okay, want to go for patterns? 20 points. The category is patterns. Look at how the shapes have changed in these pictures. Now, tell us what picture should go in the blank. Yes, number 19. C. You got it. That's right. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, so. Let's find out about you. What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Do you like sports? Yes. What sport do you play? Tennis. And who do you play with? Uh, my friend. Your friends, okay. Are you a good tennis player? Maybe. Oh, getting better and better. Okay, you're now in the lead because that was a 20 point question. Very good job, Min Jae. So please choose another category. Numbers. Numbers in the 20 point category. Here's the question. There is a certain pattern to how these numbers are placed. Figure out what the pattern is and tell us what number goes in A. Number 19, again. 16. 
That's right. Very good. <laughs> A lot of Ninja fans here. Okay, now you gotta explain why. Can you explain why? But we're adding the previous number to the next number, so you get six plus 10 is 16. Very good, you have 20 added to your total. Again, in the lead, 140 is your total. Excellent job. Okay, once again, please choose the category. Oh, words. Words, going for 30 points. What word can commonly fit in all the blanks? Blank bean. Blank done. Number 20. Well. Yes! Well, well, well! <laughs> 30 points on the board. Yeah. Only 10 points from the first place. Very good. That is Shin Chung Yu. So, I heard you like music. Yes. Do you love, play an instrument? I play cornet. How long have you played? Three years. Excellent, okay, you enjoy it? Yes. Fantastic. You're in second place. Please choose a category. Logic. Logic, another 30 point question. You will hear about four students who left home early to go to school. Listen carefully to the following sentences and figure out who arrived at school the latest. Mina arrived at school 20 minutes later than Toyun. Toyun arrived at school right after Jiu. Mingi came faster than Mina, but later than Jiu. Yes, number five. Jiu. No, that's not it. you number 19? Mina. You're right! Very good job! Woo! Man! Excellent. Not easy. It's very, very tough. You got it, number 19, Minjie. You must be kind of a genius. Maybe it's the tennis playing. I'm gonna play more tennis myself. You are clearly in the lead. That is 170 your total. Four questions left. Minjie, please choose a category. Jobs. Jobs for 20 points. It's noon and lunchtime at this company. Located at Puchan City in Gyeonggi Province, employees of this company have all come down to the cafeteria to fill up their stomachs. And this is nutritionist Kim Mi Sun. She makes sure to check the employee's health conditions before she works on the menu for the week. After she draws up a menu, she checks the ingredients to see if they are fresh enough. Then she starts cooking. Doesn't your mouth water just looking at all of this fresh made food? As soon as the food is ready, it's time to distribute the food to the starving employees who've been waiting for this time all morning. And now, here comes the question. Fats it is! Very good! That's fantastic, okay. How you feeling? I heard you like music, right? You mentioned earlier in your free time you play piano? Yes. Do you have a favorite composer? Um, Mozart. Mozart, very nice. Okay, you have 120, and it's your turn to choose a category. 30 points this week. This week for 30 points. If anybody wants to use their chance, please press the button. There we go, pressing the buzzer. The chances are up. Everybody's going for it. Okay, normally this is a 30 point question. If any one of you get it right, it is worth 60 points. Of course, that totally changes the scoreboard. 
Right now, it is Min Jae with 170, but pretty much anybody could either tie or take the lead. Let's see who gets it right this week in history for 30 points. This week in history, on September 17th, Korea hosted the 24th Summer Olympics. With athletes from 160 nations competing, the Seoul Olympics was a great success and ended with Korea ranking fourth in the overall medal standing. The Olympic Games are held every four years. Next year, the 29th Summer Olympic Games will be held in Beijing, China. Then, in what year was the Seoul... Number 20. 2010? No, that's not it. Number 11. 2014? No, you want to hear the... Yes, number 19? World Cup? No, no, number 11, you got to wait. Other people have a chance. Number 3, number 5? Do you want to hear the final question, number 3 and 5? Here's the final question. What year was the Seoul Olympics held? Right now, number three and number five have the chance. Number three? 2002. No, number five, only you can answer. Do you know the answer? Five seconds. Okay, everybody. Number 19? Two, uh, not, uh, one, 100. 1988. Wow! Very good. I'm impressed. Very good. Okay, you got 60 points with that. Clearly in the lead. Very good job. Everybody put their chances down. Excellent job. You were leading and adding 60 to that. Amazing. We have two more categories. Minjay, please choose a category. Super Korea. Super Korea for 10 points. Hi there, Super Kids friends. I'm at the post office today because I have a letter to mail. How about joining me? Come on. Since the advent of emails, the number of people sending old fashioned letters are decreasing significantly. But, here I am to send a letter. First, you put your letter in a clean envelope and write the recipient's address on the envelope. You have to write the correct whole address so that mail can be delivered with no problem. When it's my turn to go up to the counter, I give my letter to the teller and pay my postal mailing fee. Then, I put my letter into the distribution box. And I'm done! After these letters are collected, they are divided by region and sent to the right person. And now, here's the question. A letter cannot be delivered without this. This shows that the sender paid a fee for postal services. It is attached at the top right corner of an envelope and is usually two centimeters by two centimeters big. It has many different designs drawn on it. What is it called? What is this thing? It's a little teeny piece of paper, a little drawing. Number five? It's 10. Stamp is correct, good job. Yeah. Add some points. Okay, fantastic. Now, Chang Chung Yu, it's your chance. Well, actually, we know there's only one category left. You're going to see pictures. First is very unclear, and then more clear, more clear, and then finally you'll see the whole picture. You want to guess what it is? Okay, let's see our first picture. Wow. Okay, you know, wants to guess, we'll see the second picture. Oh, number five. Camilla. Yes, that's right. Very good. Okay, 
Fantastic. Well, Tang Tung Yu made a run for it at the very end. Unfortunately, the questions were worth little points, not enough. He was in second place. The man who had the lead, the man who got the big chance question is Min Jae, and Min Jae is the school champion. Congratulations! <laughs> The school champion, Min Jae, you did a great job so far. Now it's time to see if you're really a super kid. What was the toughest thing so far? Uh, in or out. In or out? Yeah. Okay, now we know you're good at tennis. We know you're really, really smart. But tell us something that we don't know. What do you like to do with mom and dad on the weekend? Uh, go to play badminton. Man, you really like racket sports. Fantastic. Okay, now you know this works. We have three categories. Each category has four hints. Now hopefully choose a category that you like and you hear the hints and you get it. Let's see what the categories are. You ready? Okay, there's nature, whole, and where. Which one would you like? Where. Where? Good luck. What city comes to mind when you hear the following words. Gondola, Merchant, International Film Festival, Italy. Okay, we're looking for the name of a city. What city comes to mind when you hear those words? Inje, do you have an answer? Yeah. What is it? Roma. Is it Rome? Nope, it's Venice. Venice is the name of the city. It's okay, feel bad, but we have two more chances, two more categories, and if you get them right, no problem. You're still a super kid. Here are the categories, nature and whole. What would you like? Whole. Whole it is. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Mouse. Slice. Fermentation. Milk. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Mouse, slice, fermentation, and milk. They all have something in common. He's thinking and thinking. Related to whole mouse, slice, milk, and fermentation. And Jay? What's your answer? Five seconds. It is no problem. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay. Let him breathe, guys. Let him breathe. He did a fantastic job. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for joining us. And join us next time again. Bye bye. Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid receives a notebook computer. First prize is a digital camera. Second prize is an MP3 player. All competitors will receive gift cards from Super Kids. And all participants receive complimentary books courtesy of iSeum Publishing. And you're moving on! Back. Come on. Cut the video at all? Your answer. <laughs> <laughs>